Hi everyone and welcome to my console speedrun strategy guide for Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. In the last episode we took care of the monastery, including the monastery skip, and in this episode I'm hopeful I'm hope uh that we can get through all of Shantytown in this part. Uh if it gets too long I might have to split it into two parts. But we should get a decent amount of, of uh a decent uh, portion of Shantytown done in this part. So as soon as we're here and we skip this cutscene. We can't scramble and we can't lunge, but we can jump. So start jumping, and you will see Laura's really, really badly hurt. Jump down here. And slowly crawl your way to this cutscene. So the game <clears throat> the game wants us to go to this um, helicopter and get a Zippo, which will give us the fire arrows. Um, but we're gonna skip most of, of the parts, and hopefully the game will just give us the fire arrows. So first thing you want to do is you want to jump over here, and you want to have at least one arrow. Um, normally you would go into this water and kill some enemies. I'm not gonna show you this, because it's pretty basic. What we are trying to do is we're trying to get onto this ledge over there. I can show you real quick that we can't grab anything. As soon as you're grabbing something, then it will hurt so badly that you will let go. However, and this is really, really inconsistent, we can use the back scramble with our alter geometry from aiming down sight to clip into this tire and then clipping into the wall behind the tire and getting pushed uh, uh, into the roof. What I like to do as a setup is go through this tire turn around and you can also try to uh, to use this um, rusted plate as a reference point then I'm aiming up and I'm trying to place my crosshair on, on this part of the let's call it a window and then I'm holding back and I'm back scrambling it's really hard to get but it saves so much time that you can afford easily a few minutes of trying. Some runners also try to do this with a pistol, but I prefer the bow, but it's ex essentially the same thing. And you can see how weirdly twitching this is when you, you, you know you're on the right way. It's basically RNG if you get it, but I got it relatively quickly right now. So I'm going to turn around, aim for this, and I'm going to let go of aiming down sight, going to hold forward, and I'm going to press X. And if you're lucky, she will grab this ledge over there. If you're unlucky, she will fall down like you just saw it, uh, uh, on, my, on my screen. But... Normally, she, she should grab the latch. And no matter how badly you think she's hurt, she will not die on this part. Again, turn around, letting go, and then just mashing X. And this is basically the fire arrow skip. I'm gonna make your way down here, and try to follow my way carefully, because there are traps everywhere. Jump on this crate and then jump on here, because when you're only grabbing hold of a waist-high object, she can climb it, but she can't climb an object that's higher than her waist. Try not to grab this uh, this uh, roof, because then she will just do a Jesus pr uh, position, where she just has her, her arms spread and you can't move. You basically softlock the game. Jump down here and trigger this cutscene. <clears throat> After this cutscene, you will get a cu you will get a checkpoint. You should definitely reload this checkpoint to get rid of this black and white screen being hurt while moving thing. So and now this is the most important door clip in the whole game, basically. Um, you're gonna trigger several waves of enemies here, and you basically want to try to clip. This gate, 
before the first ray uh, waves of enemy ends. You don't have to kill a full wave for another wave to spawn. So I always reload this checkpoint when one of the enemies gets too close. Um, this gate sort of has a... Um, it's a pain in the ass to do with the pause buffering method, so I always use the back scrambling method. Um, it sort of has a... a um, barrier in front of it that prevents you from coming close enough to do the scramble. So I jump into this, but to be sure I jump backwards. So you can be 100% sure that you're close enough if you move and you see the thorns from the gate. Um, and then you just want to aim down sight, scramble and then do a lunge and flip the, the left stick left like you always do with the door clips here. Even with the right technique, it's a pain in the ass to get. And I saw several runs getting killed on this gate. So as soon as you're through this gate, you want to check if you get the fire arrows. And you see, we got them, because we need them to finish the game. Scramble roll down here. Watch this quote-unquote cutscene. And now this is where tr things get tricky. We wanna, we have another fight coming up down there, but we can also skip this fight. On Xbox One, uh, on Xbox 360 and PS3 and PC, you can just clip through here with the uh, with a special clip. But apparently, um, Crystal Dynamics thought it was necessary to 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 uh, fix this. So I had actually to look around here and find my own skip. It's a bit tricky to explain, but you want to jump over here. And then jump over here. And what we're basically trying to do is we're gonna clip into this part, and then we're trying to fool the game that we are under under this in here. And then we're trying to clip into this roof, and from this roof we're trying to clip into the roof of the room that is below there. And then we're just trying to go through the roof and clipping out at the the stairs. And yes. It's as weird as it sounds. So I'm going to get into this corner. And I'm aiming for this effigy here. Then I'm doing a back scramble. And I'm walking backwards. And this is how you know that you don't get it. Basically, uh, in a perfect uh, attempt, you're just seeing her legs. Now, if you see her legs, like we just do. You, ha you aim... Um, you aim... Mm. Imagine your left analog stick is a clock. You want to aim for around four, between four and five, and you want to keep aiming down sides, and you want to keep walking. And luckily, you're gonna clip into this position. Now, when you're here, we're basically in the roof. Never stop aiming down side. Get your shotgun out and blast this barrier. Get your bow out and get close to this room. Now turn a little bit, and turn back, and turn again, and then just stop moving, and it should clip you into this room. Now, we can let go of aiming down sides, but don't jump. Under no circumstances you are allowed to jump or press anything, just walk, and get over to the stairs. These stairs are at the edge of the room. Wiggle your left analog stick, and she will grab them and clip out. And this is how easily you get through this. Jump on top of this, and now you have to be fast. I already explained something, that's why I missed this thing. But ideally you can grab it. Now we have to wait for the next thing. So, in case you're doing this, you can just easily grab it before it actually gets there. And chill a little bit. And this is basically the Grim Skip number one. So where we fight, where you skip the big, uh, the big fight. Now, because this is called Grimskip number one, you probably have figured out that there's also Grimskip number two, which is what we're going to do now. <clears throat> as soon as we're landing on there, there's going to be another cutscene. And another, and not another cutscene, but another fight. <clears throat> Jump down here, get those arrows, and reload the checkpoint.
By reloading the checkpoint you make sure only two enemies come on your side. So as soon as the game continues, grab this ammo here and grab this ammo here. Jump on these boxes and I told you in the very first or maybe in the second part, yes I told you in the second part, um, <clears throat> I told you that this game values animation over world rules. And I also told you that at the end of an animation you have a small um, frame time frame where you can input another um, movement without having the game world the game rules uh, apply to it. We only did this with animations we could trigger at will so far. But we can also do this with animations that are not triggered at will. For example, the damage boost. The damage boost is when Lara takes a certain amount of damage in one hit and it makes her stumble backwards or forward or whatever. So we're basically trying to trigger the damage um, boost animation and at the end of the damage boost animation we want to jump and we're going to use this combination of jumping to the other platform which is normally out of our reach. The reason why we reloaded the checkpoint is that now only these two enemies come on our side and the other ones will be relatively quiet. If we wouldn't have done that, we would um, have had to deal with way more damage. So what we're trying to, to, to get is one of those two guys is supposed to throw a Molotov at us. But they don't always throw Molotovs. They also do throw throwing knives. And to not get killed by the throwing knives, you want to turn around and watch them and jump to try to evade the jump up and down. So they basically trying to aim for you when you're in mid-air or on the ground. But when the knife is supposed to hit you, you're on the ground or in mid-air, depending on where they aimed at you. So this is basically a way to dodging them and staying alive longer. It doesn't always work, but it's the best, best method uh, we're having right now. So just try to practice this. And we got the shopping tutorial here, which is really bad. So you want to stand facing to the outside, but turn your camera so you see these two guys. And you can start jumping. As soon as one of those guys, as soon as you see one of those guys um, getting a Molotov, turn your camera forward and press forward on your left analog stick. So Lara will stumble forward and then she will stumble into midair. And then just hold forward and spam jump at the end of the animation. So you're basically getting a jump from mid-air. And I kind of fucked it up there. Might have to reload this checkpoint. Because I wasn't expecting another Molotov cocktail so soon. Yep, I need to reload. Um, you want to be on the ground when the Molotov hits. That's why the second Molotov didn't give me the damage boost. Again, turn around. You can also do this with audio cues, but I like to do it with sight. And I wasn't facing bad. So I didn't get the right angle on the jump. But this is essentially, this is the most RNG dependent stuff in the whole game. And also I'm not having sound right now. And this, this was just bad luck. In the second we would have gotten the, the jump to get on the other side, we got hit by a throwing knife. Again, there's nothing you can do about it. Just try not to get angry. And this is how you do it. So roll around here and get this checkpoint. Reload this checkpoint and the fight is over. So as soon as you're here, you see Grim either standing on the other side or you see him here. If you see him here, you have to go around him and then grab onto this rope. Hey, 
this is a square QT if I remember correctly. And now I just have to wait out this cutscene. Now, as soon as you're up here, you're gonna trigger another cutscene, which you can skip. So, now you gotta be quick. <clears throat> And there's gonna be another. There's gonna be another audio cue for you. I try to hit this audio cue without having audio because I try to get it with subtitles because I don't have sound right now. Um, but yeah, um, you want to climb up and then you want to be make your way as fast as possible to the end of the bridge. Just try to follow my way here. At the end of the bridge, well, at some point during your walk you're gonna start a walkie-talkie sequence. But your part of the walkie-talkie sequence doesn't start right away. It starts on the second or third dialogue line. And you wanna hit this trigger of you grabbing the, the walkie-talkie to speak and do a dirty trick slide. And then you wanna clip out of the way you are, uh, the, the, the bridge, to skip another walkie-talkie sequence. And this sounds confusing, so I'm just trying to show you. Just jump these two stairs here, and then no roll and scramble. Now he's saying, Lara, did you hear that? And after this, after he said this, I'm trying to input the scramble and the dirty tricks. Um, again, this is really hard for me without hearing it, actually, but I'm gonna just give it a go. That's great news, Roth. And I got it. So you want to clip out on the left side, like you just saw me, and you want to make your way across this. You have to be quick, because it's gonna end the, the slide by itself after the cutscene, and you don't want to fall down. So you want to stand on this rock, and wait for the, the walkie-talkie sequence to end, and then aim downside to end it completely. This has the added benefit of skipping this walkie-talkie sequence here. Now just jump and make your way inside. Climb up here, and now you can just turn around and grab onto this ledge. Goes. Square or execute E to the right, and as soon as you're on top of this, you want to mash X or A for jump, because you can get a little jump here, and I just got it. Father Matthias will send us to the Oni if we don't find it. Again, QTE. Get to the right. Climb up. Jump. Jump and hold, and now wait for his orders. So if he says stop, don't move, you should probably stop and don't move. You can move as soon as you see the enemies on this section getting killed. I'm trying to jump here because it's a little bit faster. And as soon as this guy aims downside, I can move. Now just climb up <clears throat> and enjoy the small cutscene. QTE. And now just climb up. And from here on I would advise you not to scramble or roll, just walk normally, run normally. Because you're not gonna save any time, and it's way more dangerous if you scroll, uh, scramble or roll. Grab into this, and as soon as you finish this climb, you wanna scramble, you wanna scramble, and you wanna do a dirty trick slide to get the next dirty uh, walkie talkie sequence skip. And then you wanna slide down here, and into this rock. and trigger this. Okay. 
and let me reload this checkpoint to see if we're at a real checkpoint. Or if it's another place, a uh, checkpoint. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, basically, I'm gonna end the part here. This was all of Shantytown for now. We're gonna come back later, but only for like a minute. And this is basically the biggest skip area in the whole game for us. Um, so... If you have any questions, especially about the Fire Arrow skip, the Shantytown Gates clip, um, the Grim skip number one or Grim skip number two, um, leave them in the, in the comment section. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I can just as well make certain um, just special videos for each of those skips if it helps you. Um, they're really tough to learn, but it's it's the most time you can save in the whole run. So. Um, try to practice this, because now the hard part begins. Basically, this is where part 2 of the game starts. Um, so really practice this. Um, in the next part, we're going to take care of the geotavern, uh, geothermal uh, caverns and the Sonari Fortress, which will have a lot of fights in it and some tricky, um, some tricky, some tricky skips. Uh, be sure to look forward to that, and as always, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next part.